What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on a rainy day and I thought it was going to be a lot muddier back here but it really isn't that muddy and it's kind of coming down a little bit but um, I wasn't going to let a rainy day kind of stop me from having my ride so we're out here anyway and we're just ripping this Vivi e-bike back here on my trail on a rainy muddy day and I'm trying out these new Schwinn tires too and they're digging in the mud really well um, in the parts that are muddy so that's kind of cool I've been dying to try them out in the mud and I uh, just wanted to also give a quick update on my job search um, it's been about a month since I got laid off and uh, I'd say I applied for a good like 40 jobs. Um, I had one interview early on, uh, then I had like about 15 rejections just straight up off my resume, and I did get a new resume, so that's cool. But uh, ever since then, I got like two more interviews, and I made it to the second round for both of those. So that's kind of cool. Um, I didn't realize how long and arduous the interview process had gotten over the years. And it seems to take like several weeks now, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so next week I have two second round interviews. Uh, the first one is what they call a panel interview. And that thing is going to take about three hours and over the course of three hours I'm going to have four meetings uh, with six people and about a 15 minute break at a certain point so that's going to be all new for me I've only like normally had like hey interview for like an hour or so three hours uh, it's going to be sort of interesting but the position is permanent um, and it has lots of all the benefits and all that so that's like job number one and uh, it's actually not my first choice my first choice is this other one and I'll get to that in a minute because that one is a contractor position so no benefits um, and it's hybrid on site three days a week, two days a week at home, whereas the other one, fully remote, okay? So, that one I have an interview on Thursday, and now I'm a little concerned because that one's like my number one choice, even though it's temporary and has no benefits and isn't remote. It's just like, it's what I want to do, and it's with like a company that I would like die to work for so I feel like I'm just gonna go for it with that one and hopefully maybe it goes full-time and like I'll have achieved my dream job somehow otherwise this other one I'm afraid is gonna offer it me like too soon before I get to have the interview with my first choice but I guess either way like say I had to accept that one for my second choice still permanent and remote and with all the benefits so it's like that's a win anyway kind of I feel and then uh, I don't know I guess I was sort of thinking but this would be messed up to like I don't know accept the position at the one I wasn't that jazzed about and then if I get the offer from my number one just like rescind my acceptance of the offer I don't know be kind of shitty to do I feel but I guess I don't know I don't owe anyone anything anymore and I feel like these companies will cut you in a second so and uh, my last job I seen people like resign on their second day so it's not unheard of where you just get somewhere and you're like nah this isn't for me and I'm sure it looks shitty and you can't really come back there but just one company I would be like burning a bridge with so I think I'm okay with it 
but I don't really have anything yet. I haven't had the second round um, second round interviews yet, and I don't have any offers yet. So this is just me kind of thinking in advance about like how the timing is going to play out. But hopefully it'll all work out in the end. And uh, I guess either way, maybe at some point I'll have a job again, so that'll be cool. And uh, I won't have to sell my house. So I guess if you've been watching this far, uh, definitely hit that like button. Drop us a comment. Let me know which job you think you would pick. You're going to take the permanent one that uh, is remote, that you might not be as into the company. Or are you going to take the consultant one that is on site where you are into the company? It's a tough decision. I guess uh, hit that subscribe button and you can kind of tune in and see uh, which one I end up picking. So thanks for watching and hope you're having a nice day. We'll catch you next time.